As you can see, I'm in gold right now. Currently in gold. And uh, I got a lot of wins in a row. I mean, it's true. I did get some losses. But pretty much, it's just a lot of wins. Two Dragon Pit. One Maxi. One Time Gazer. One Ash Blossom. Three Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. Three Wisdom Eye Magician. Three Skull Bat Joker. Two Harmonizing Magician. One Double Iris. One Purple Poison. Three Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. One Performer Pal Celestial Magician. One Stargazer. Three Oaf Dragon. One Chronograph Sorcerer. One Astrograph Sorcerer. One Regeki. One Monster Reborn. Three Pendulum Call. Three Duelist Alliance. One Star Pendulum Graph. And three Time Pendulum Graph. The extra deck is. One Odd Eyes Vortex, two Supreme King Starving Venom, one Kachikochi Dragon, one Number 82 Heartland Draco, one Time Star Magician, one Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon, one Number 60 Durgas the Timeless, one Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, one Number 28 Titan Ma, one Magician of Hope, one he Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, one Traffic Ghost, one Boral Sword Dragon, and finally one Boral Guard Dragon. So that's the main deck. Uh, I'm going to talk about the card for card. So pretty much from the original video, I have these two cards which come in a structure deck. This doesn't come in a structure deck. I added it in because just maxi is really powerful. The one time I did draw it, it drew me one card. So I kind of like it. This card, Time Gazer Magician. I run Time Gazer Magician because there's another card that pairs well with it, which is I believe this one, Chronograph. And if this card's in a scale, you can just destroy it and special summon this card to the field or set as a skill. Personally, I don't know if I really like it. I only use this guy once. I don't know if I really like him. I'm more likely I just special summon him as a body. Uh, Ash Blossom, I've only used it once. It stopped a card. I thought it was cool. Is it good in the deck? I don't know. It might ruin consistency because pendulums are really, really important with consistency. You want to be able to get like your combo going every single time. This card is three of, just like in the structure deck, it's extremely important. And then uh, three Wisdom Mind Magician from the structure deck, same thing. Joker, super powerful, adds almost every card in deck to the hand. Uh, I like this card because it actually has, it has a decent pendulum effect where you could special summon a magician from your deck so you can go into like a rank four. Um, or even like a link, but the card that you special summon gets banished. But the card, the real reason I like this card is because it makes the attack of all your monsters 100 more. And then, um, Double Iris is a new card that I added. What it does is when it gets destroyed on the pendulum scale or on the field, add one pendulum graph card from your deck to your hand. Um, those are the new cards I added, which is the trap, which is insanely powerful. And then this one is like, it adds cards from your deck to your hand, magician cards. So it's just kind of cool. It adds them, it gets, makes your deck consistent. Even though you only run one copy, you can search it with uh, Wisdom Eye. You can search it with uh, Skullbat Joker. You, it can be searched in many, many ways. Even this card, Pendulum Call, I believe. This card is if it's destroyed, uh, I believe by battle or card effect while it's on the field. Similar to this card, instead of adding this one, it destroys a face up. Also has a Pendulum skill um, where if a dark spellcaster attacks you can destroy this card and it gains like a 1200 attack the only reason i'm running this card is because i saw on youtube videos that a lot of pendulum youtubers are running this card like maybe you're you're running cards that pendulum youtubers have like suggested i don't know why this card's in the deck i drew it once and it was useless uh i don't i I'm, i think going on in the future i'm not gonna run this card i, I just see no reason to run it this card is added from the uh, Pendulum Sorcerer Magician. It has a really cool, unique effect. Or if it's summoned, uh, you can like it has like four effects. I'll let you read real quick. Stargazer Magician is really important too, um, because you you can get it with uh, Astrograph Sorcerer. But I'm gonna be completely honest. I think I've only summoned him once, and it didn't really matter. More likely, I discarded him twice for Pendulum Call. So just like this card and this card, even though they have synergy with both these cards. I don't know if I would run them, just cause uh, I don't really, I don't really use them. That's like a big thing. Like I draw it and it's like, oh, a dead card. Like I can't use this. So like, what do I do now? You know, Oath Dragon is extremely amazing. He's really good. I usually always go into him because I always have pendulums in the graveyard from XYZs that get destroyed. XYZs I own that get destroyed that have pendulum materials. I can just add the pendulum materials back, or even um, when I discard for pendulum call. It's just like, this card is just so powerful. I run it at three, it's in the structure deck, it's so good. This card, I'm gonna be honest, I saw YouTubers run it. I don't know why I'm running it. It's a one copy card, so I thought like, hey, maybe I'll run it, um, see what it does. Uh, so far, I've only summoned it and used it as, I think, fusion material for one of my monsters. But this card, this card is really good. If there's one card in this video you should add, it's definitely this card. So this card's really good, I highly recommend. Same as last time, these are the free-to-play cards. The Regeki Monster Reborn. Pendulum Call is, um, Pendulum Call is super useful. You run three of it, because it searches. You run even more Magicians, so you have even more options. And yeah, there are more combos. Um, the deck's a little more confusing. 
Um, this isn't the final deck, this is just what I'm using now. And this is what I feel comfortable with. And then Duelist Alliance, it's a searcher, it's really powerful. And as mentioned above, this card is searchable with uh, Double Iris Magician. So, like, you can add these to your hand if you want, like, later in the game. I think also Duelist Alliance searches them too, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, these cards are good. Um, they add diversity. I saw them in another YouTube video, so I added them in, and I really like them. So, finally, the only cards in the main deck that I wouldn't like, Chronograph Sorcerer, I don't like this card. Um, Stargazer Magician, I don't think it's good. Three, Abyss Actor Curtain Razor, I think this card's like a dead card. And finally, the Time Gazer Magician, the extra deck. Vortex Dragon, I put this card in the extra deck because I thought I was going to be fusion summoning with the last build. Honestly, this card doesn't need to be here, so I'm going to take him out. Now, this card is really, really good. It's banned in the TCG, but in this game, you can run three copies. Uh, I think two's good. Uh, I like this card because you can target a card in your graveyard and it becomes that card and you can steal monster effect. I still run this because it's a ring four. I haven't used it because I have better ones. I run this because if you control a face up spell, he can't be targeted by attacks. I really like this card a lot because this card's effect is kind of crazy. Like if you, if you control him and he's XYZ summon, your opponent cannot target monsters with 2000 or more attack with card effects. Also, they can't be destroyed by... Uh, by card effects i run this guy i haven't made this guy once i think i just run him for utility because i pulled him um i don't need these two cards as i mentioned because i only have one level seven i think i just have them just from last time so i'll take them out magician of hope i make this guy quite a bit uh simply because he's a pendulum if he dies his effect i'm, I'm not gonna lie his effect kind of sucks maybe you can make use of it i don't like his effect i think it's kind of bad uh do you need to run him no i just run him because he's okay now this card is the absolute card it's what i mentioned last time that you should be running it it's super super powerful what i end up doing usually is making this exact card like almost all the time because it just gets you so so much advantage advantage means when you get more cards when you just keep generating more cards like getting more cards even though you can only run one there's a cool combo where you can do supreme king starving dragon and you can target this card in your graveyard and not only that you can use his effects again so what i end up doing usually is i make this guy he dies because people realize how powerful he is and then i just bring this guy out and i copy his effects and i just use his effect again he's so 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 supreme king is so good he can copy anybody's effect actually the most beneficial are i copied one time boral sword dragon so pretty much this guy could change a monster to defense he could attack twice and also he had the effect where he can like gain the attack it's just like so good you know um i still run traffic ghost i don't go into him anymore i just run him just he's just there as an option i don't go into him though the the main cards that you always go into are this card like every time this is my boss monster boral sword he can attack twice he gains like he can't be destroyed by battle he uh if he attacks a monster he gains its attack he's just so so good uh, I pulled this card, I run it, I've never made it once, it's just in my extra deck as an option. But pretty much the main cards in my extra deck are Boral Sword, Heavy Metal Foes, and Supreme King. For rank 4s, I guess, I guess I generally make this guy, and this guy the most. And as you probably saw from the start, these are the replays. I do have some losses, I lost a couple times, but we'll start with the most latest replay, which is this one. Playing against Shadal is a chain to Maxi. This is what I mentioned earlier when I got one draw. Maxi is kind of good because uh, it gets you a free draw. Generally, it gets you a free draw because almost every deck in the game special summons. Now, his deck has it, so you can only special summon once, which usually that like triples decks and you can't do anything. But luckily, I'm able to just get around it. I'd even have to do that right there. Um, but this was my first time really using the deck with the new cards, so I was still like, I was still like figuring out how things work. I'm using the, uh, the Link Monster to draw cards, just get me advantage. Electromite can be used during my turn, so I'm gonna draw a card during my turn, it's insanely powerful. Uh, I'm gonna bait out his El Shadal Fusion, so he's gonna Fusion Summon into something else. And I'm gonna chain my Chronograph Sorcerer, because since the card was destroyed, I can Special Summon it. Sadly, I'm not gonna get the ad from Chronograph Sorcerer, because you only get the ad if you have multiple copies in your deck. I only have one copy of Purple Poison, which was a card that was destroyed on my side of the field, so I don't get an ad another one. If I did, I would have another purple poison in my hand. 
he's just popping off. Okay, he's popping my trap because it's really, really powerful. It's destroying my link because it's problematic. And I just use Regeki to destroy all his monsters. That's just a free-to-play card. I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring back his window because he just doesn't want me to like, special summon over and over and over. So he's trying to stop me as much as he can. Destroying all my spells and traps. But luckily, I mean, I can just reset my skills. This deck's just super consistent. Oak Dragon, add a card from extra deck to my hand so I get up another summon. I'm just gonna summon everything. And just one game. Just like that. And here we go with the second duel. As I mentioned in the deck profile, I have Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. This was the duel that I had him in my hand. Just gonna set up my skills. Like always, destroy- oh, I didn't destroy Wisdom Mind this time. Oh, he couldn't be destroyed because I used a spell. So yeah, I'm just gonna summon Time Gazer, detach, add a card, normal summon Joker because he's so important. And uh, Curtain Razor didn't really do anything. It was just a rank 4 body, so I'm just gonna make this guy. The reason I make this guy is it makes Time Gazer not be able to destroy by battle or card effects. Which is kind of good. Or no, excuse me. Can't be destroyed by uh, card effects and can't be targeted by card effects. He can still be destroyed by battle, as you'll see in a little bit. Playing against a blue eyes player, he's summoning his like full board, it's really powerful. And normally here I'd be toast because I was like, what do I do now, you know? So I'm gonna do this. Oak Dragon's gonna add a card to my graveyard to my hand. Tangelum Sorcerer's gonna destroy a card, add a card from my deck to my hand. Adding back the double iris. Normal summoning Joker because he's so important, just adding a free card. Link summon into heavy metal foes. This guy, Metal Foes, Destroy Card, Add a Card. And I make Boral Sword. Boral Sword is super important because if he attacks a card, he steals the attack. So normally, his Blue Eyes card, who can't be targeted or destroyed by uh, card effects, this Boral Sword just steals his attack, and you can attack twice. Insanely powerful card. He's gonna Ritual Summon again. I'm gonna summon up the, the Baby version. I'm gonna use this card. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he was confused. Thought my monster would die. It doesn't. I'm just gonna pendulum summon three cards, I believe. Four cards? Oh dang. And then Oak Dragon's so powerful, as I mentioned before, I add back poison for my graveyard to my hand. And uh, with that, I won. So it's really good in this deck to have a boss monster. I usually always go into Electromite, just because he gets me free cards, and uh, that's really powerful. Like always, Joker's so important. I usually always add a Wisdom Eye, because Wisdom Eye can be anything. So Wisdom Eye's gonna destroy himself. Oh wait, no, he can't because I use a spell. I always keep forgetting that. Yeah, the spell makes it so your skills can't be destroyed by card effects. So that means I can't use their own effects to destroy themselves. Joker's gonna add me a card. Double Iris is gonna add me a card. Oak's Dragon's gonna add me a card back to my hand. I'm gonna XYZ for Magician of Hope. The real reason I'm making him is because he's a pendulum. If he dies, he goes to the extra deck. Uh, I didn't need to do this. There's better XYZs. I didn't have it in my extra deck. Um, but I mean, maybe you got a better XYZ. So you can make that. He's gonna fusion for his absolute biggest boss monster. So this card, I don't think it can be like... It's unaffected by smaller traps. Uh, and I can't activate effects during the battle phase. So, the only way to really get over is by battle. And you'll see how I do that. So, normal summon Joker, he'll add a card. Pendulum summon. Five <laughs> cards, so much. Oak Dragon, add back cards to my graveyard. Magician of Hope's gonna target a card in my graveyard, attach it again. I don't think that's really important, I'm just doing it just to do it. But you'll see what's gonna happen now. Electromite, every single game I make this card, so important. Uh, destroy a card, add a card from extra deck, draw a card, the card that I destroyed gets me a card, just so much advantage. Oral Sword again, super powerful card. And I'm thinking like, hmm, how do I do this? So I have to set up my, the main thing I'm doing here is I'm setting up my mag Harmonizing Magician as my scale so that my monsters gain attack. So Boral Sword normally he has 3,000 attack. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but he has 3,000. And Harmonizing gives him 400 extra attack. Boral Sword also has an effect where he can change the battle position of a monster so he can attack twice. So what I'm doing here is I'm changing his battle position. Since he can be targeted by monster effects and he's affected by monsters, I'm changing his battle position and I'm just gonna attack over him. That was like the only way I thought in my head of how to beat him. I'm sure there might have been other ways, but this is the way that I figured out. And attack, attack. And Boral Sword can attack twice. He's gonna draw a card. He's gonna do his final fusion summon, which is actually a pretty good fusion. And uh, this card, it burns for a thousand. It's unaffected by card effects. So I can't get rid of it with my trap and I have to like battle over it. That's the only way to get rid of it. And then here I think I'm just like playing, messing around, seeing what I can do with my deck. I have so many cards in my hand. <laughs> I have so much advantage. That's crazy. And then I'm making uh, this guy because he can do peers. I'm just making him to make him. 
And then this guy, once again, he, I copied Boral Sword's effect. So I can, I can seal Boral Sword's effect. And then uh, he can attack again. And he still has a Pierce. It's just crazy. Such a good card. Starting Venom. Normal Summon Joker. Add Pendulum Sorcerer since I already have Wisdom Eye in my hand. This is the game I had the Chronograph. I'm thinking of what to do with Chronograph. I use Time Gazer's effect. I don't know why. Just because I want Chronograph in my extra deck. Did I need to do that? No. I just did it. Just to do it. Time Gazer's not the worst effect. Um, I believe if I attack, he can't activate uh, Trap Cards. And then this time I'm just going to pop off and destroy my two cards. Add two cards. Uh, Harmonizing Magicians get a special summon a Magician for my deck. So I'm just going to get more cards for free. Electromite. I make Electromite every single turn. He just gets off. Because I have too much advantage. Too many free cards. I have too many cards for next turn. It's hard to beat that. So this hand's not the best. As you can probably see. Like, what am I supposed to do with this hand? I have a Time Gazer, who's like a scale 8, I believe. And I have a Dragon Pit, who's a scale 8. And none of these cards really do anything. So we'll, we'll see what I draw. That'll save the game. Oh, would you look at that? It's Joker, one of the most powerful cards in my deck. Joker adds a card. Oh, he gets negated. I misplayed here, actually. So what I should have did, I was so excited to draw something good that I just activated it right away. What I should have did was activated Star Pendulum Graph. What this card does is if a Magician Monster leaves the field, I get to add. But the most important part, which would have saved me here, is that your opponent cannot target spellcasters, which is Joker, he's a spellcaster, with spell card effects. And this is a spell. So he wouldn't have been able to use this and target this. So that's what I should have did. I should have activated that and then activated this. But I didn't. I forgot. So. The only thing I can really do is just activate this, set that, and attack. Destroy this card. Destroy that card. And then I uh, got that from a uh, Pendulum Graph. My draw was an Ash Blossom. Doesn't help. Oh, would you look at that? One of the most powerful cards in my deck. Star Pendulum's gonna add me a card. Uh, Heavy Metal Foes is going to put a card, any card in my deck, into my extra deck, which is insane. And Oak Dragon, it was a card I happened to draw, which is really good there. Or maybe I added it, I don't remember, to be honest. So I'm just adding, 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 so many cards going on. Pendulum Summon 3, he's got a Toriental Tribute. I'm going to use this card to destroy his last set card. Now in hindsight, should I have destroyed that? I don't know, but it's what I did. So I'm going to chain Ash Blossom to that card, because it lets him add a Thunder Dragon. He's going to activate the Thunder Dragon effect. To end his turn, and I'm gonna OTK him. I ended up drawing a really, really powerful call, Pendulum Call, which means I can set up my skills easy. Oak Dragon, I always use Oak Dragon. He's gonna add back a card. I'm gonna Pendulum Summon 3. All the cards are really powerful, he gave up, because that's enough to kill him. Just like that. Open up with Oak Dragon, Duelist Alliance searches a card. I'm gonna search up Pendulum Call. I'm most likely gonna discard the Stargazer, because he's not that good. And I'm gonna add a double iris because he's pretty good to be popped and a wisdom eye. Wisdom eye is really powerful. I don't use the wisdom eye, usually I would, but it can't be destroyed by card effect, so his effect's kinda useless. And with this, I can pendulum too. Oak Dragon's gonna add back the Stargazer from my graveyard, but he's gonna chain effect veiler, which I wouldn't recommend chaining on that, but he did anyways, so I mean, oh well, I don't get the effect. Uh, I'm gonna set the trap that I drew, which is super, super powerful. So he's gonna activate double up start. This is a Sky Striker player. I don't really know what he's doing. He, he's making it so my card can't attack. And then he just keeps linking. Because I have a feeling he has like Pot of a uh, Pot of Avarice in his hand. Which is target 5 monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle it, draw 2. So I think that's why he's doing that. He's activating all these effects. Pretty good. My scales can't be destroyed. He's most likely trying to pop my scales. But I mean I can't be destroyed. So next turn I'm just going to Pendulum Summon again. I actually made a misplay here. What I should have did was I should have went into that, uh, that uh, Link monster that gets me free cards. That card's so powerful. So he's going to activate Pot of Avarice, draw two cards. I'm going to draw. Okay, he's going to chain. I shouldn't... So here was a mistake again on my part. I activated Oaf Dragon's effect because I wanted to get a card for my extra deck to my hand so I can Pendulum even more. But what I should have did was just Pendulum Summon because uh, he ended up destroying my Oaf Dragon with the card effect. But luckily I drew another scale so I'm just going to Pendulum everything back. Uh, double Oaf Dragon. Oaf Dragon adds back Stargazer so I have a card in my hand. Electromite can pop a card in my scale. Which I'm gonna pop a uh, double iris, double iris when he's popped. I get to add a card, add the joker to my hand so I can normal summon him. So I'm gonna get a bunch of cards. I only had two cards, mind you. Two cards. And I'm gonna get all these cards from Electromite. And uh, pretty much, yeah, Electromite. Electromite pretty much got everything. Double iris adds me a card. I just end my turn because I'm like, okay, that's all I can do. He's gonna destroy that card because it's so powerful. I'm gonna normal summon summon this guy. This guy's gonna target the Electromite in my graveyard. And I'm gonna pretty much steal his effect. <laughs> This guy on purple. Purple's gonna destroy a card in the field and then destroy a spell, just cause, I mean, why not? And this guy, I believe he's gonna let me draw a card. I get this, now my monsters are stronger. Uh, Pendulum Call really helps a lot, and my skills can't be destroyed. Pendulum Summon 3, 4? Pendulum Summon 4, okay. 
Oak Dragon, add a card from my graveyard to my hand, more advantage. Harmonizing Special Summon a card from my deck. It's just, at this point, I had two cards. Can you believe that? Two cards. I had one scale, another scale, and I got all of this from that. The main reason, I would say, is Electromite. This card right here, Heavy Metal Pose Electro. Uh, Electromite. This card's just insanely powerful. It was actually banned in the TCG. TCG means that uh, the card game that takes place outside of Japan, it's actually banned out there because it's just too powerful. Pendulum Call, discard, add an Oath, add a Double Iris. Usually when I add Double Iris, it's because I have a card that can destroy it. But uh, it can't be destroyed by card effect for a while. So I'm just going to Pendulum. Sorcerer's going to destroy both the cards, so I can add a Joker. Joker's such a really good normal summon. And Celestial Magician's my other target. I could have just destroyed one, but I ended up destroying two. Uh, maybe destroying one would have been better. But, I mean, that's what I did. Uh, somebody destroys Monster. And since my card doesn't get destroyed, I got to send a card to the Griever. But I mean, this guy has plays for days. I'm not going to lie. He's going to activate this card, special summon his card back. And he special summons two, and then he's going to activate this card, special summon his card back. It's just like insane. He's got XYZ for this. I have that same exact card, but it's better in his deck because, uh, yeah, it lets him special summon uh, a Galaxy Eyes from his hand. He's gonna attack me for 3k, destroy my monsters, and this is what happened. I use this card, destroy double Iris, destroy his monster, and then I'm just gonna combo off. Yeah, and those are the replays. I hope you found this useful. I hope you like the deck, and I hope you have a lot of fun climbing. I use this deck to get to gold. I'm gonna be getting to platinum, and uh, maybe I'll see you there. Later. Oh, also, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe if you want to see other videos I'm gonna put out. Anyways, later.